Happy Friday, everyone. It's Lady Cree. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I do pray and hope you and your families are all doing well. Well, I've come on to share with you a really quick project share in hopes to inspire you to pull out what you have, create, and have some fun. Now, I am doing this collaboration with the one and only my sissy, Jaleesa. You all know her as you see why I'm a diva. Hi, sissy. <laughs> so I reached out and asked if she wanted to have some Friday fun with me. Yes. <laughs> so you all, um, this collaboration is where we could create whatever we wanted to. So let me pull out or let me share with you what I pulled out to use for my projects. And guess what? I will be sure to link her YouTube channel in the description box below so you can go over and check out her video as well as subscribe to her channel. We all know that Lisa is a phenomenal crafter and she is so unique with her creations. I love, love, love her creativity. Most importantly, I love me some her. Okay, so let me share with you real quickly what I pulled out to use. I used my Memento Cottage Ivy as well as the Rhubarb Stalk, Rubert Stalk. Um, some clear gemstones. My Cottage Cuts Tea Time Doily. Um, this is an online um, tag dye. Merry Christmas by Impression Obsession. Um, my best in my head, Gina Marie. These are the slimline dies. Um, this is a honeybee stamp um, inside holiday sentiment. I pulled out my um, cherry slimline envelopes. I used Fresh Forest by Fun Stamper's Journey. Um, I also use my Pure Poppy by um, Paper Tray Ink. And my card bases, I always use the white by Paper Tray Ink. I have been using it as my card bases for the last couple of years, and I truly enjoy that white card stock. And um, I use the Safe Freeze. Okay, so let me share with you my project real quickly. <laughs> so I created some slimline cards, you all. Okay, so here is my first one here. Love, love, love how it turned out. So let me share with you about this card. So what I like to do, you all, in those 12 by 12 paper pads, um, I love to pull out the sheets that have florals in the corners so if you pull out your 12 by 12 paper pad in the four corners you typically may have some florals and so that is where um, it just makes the work easy for me because all I need to do is position my die and cut out where that floral piece is so then what I do is I cut that out and then there's a um, a space here with nothing so what I do is I go through my stash and find a die that will complement that space. So that way you have um, a good symmetrical here. So you have all of this space covered here with the design that's already in um, on the paper. And then I use a die to fill this space here. So this is where my impression obsession die Merry Christmas come into play. And I just love how it just fills up this space here. And so there you go. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that sparkle, but that is my iridescent medium. I love, love, love using that. And so um, this is the red envelope here. But you see that? So, so pretty. Now, there is so much more you could do with that when you just cut out the design. You could um, fussy cut another flower, um, lay it on top. Um, you can do all sorts of things, but I just love the classy look of this so so pretty and there's the little reindeer that come with that dye and this is the inside from my honeybee stamps warmest thoughts and best wishes for a joyful holiday season yes i love it <laughs> so again my greeting merry christmas inside sentiment warmest thoughts and best wishes for a joyful holiday season and this is the other deer um that's supposed to go here and I put it on the inside, on the opposite side. And then that's the back. So that's that one. And I did two of them. 
like that with that design and it's the same as well okay so there you go so that's that one and then this one here so again same concept position my die with the piece that's in the corner just let it do the talking for me <laughs> that is my focal piece again fill this space here with this merry christmas by impression obsession there's my dear and again i put that sparkle all over my card so pretty <laughs> Again, warmest thoughts and best wishes for a joyful holiday season. And this is where I use the cottage, um, what is it called? Cottage Ivy ink, the green. And there you go. <laughs> and of course, the red envelope. So I'll put that there. And here is the other one. So pretty. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. And I do have this green um, slimline scallop layer popped up. So, so pretty. <laughs> love it. Okay, so that's that one. And I also used this piece out of that Safe Freeze collection. I just love, love, love this scene. So if you want to create a scene on your card, and um, not have to bring out all of your dies to create this scene, like your snowflake dies, a little red truck, um, the snowman. Um, you don't have to. Just look for a scene in your paper collection and voila, just cut it out and let it do the talking for you. And I don't know if you can see, but this is where I put all those little gems. Y'all see that? There you go. Inside of the snowflakes. I think it turned out so pretty. And so my sentiment greeting here, I put wishing you warmth and togetherness because I love the little snowman, the dad and the mom with the baby. And then you have the red truck here um, with the snowman on the back holding the presents and the one driving. So I thought this um, greeting was so befitting and inside Merry Christmas. Now this is where I stamped the Merry Christmas with that um, rhubarb stalk. <laughs> and that's the back. So, so pretty. Look at that. Oh, that is so pretty. And then of course my red envelope there. Okay, so that's that. Let me sit this up here because I have one more thing to share. Okay, and then I created or put together an embellishment box. So pretty. <laughs> I love putting tool on these embellishment boxes. And um, it's just so pretty. It's so much going on on the inside. I just love the simplicity of putting the tool, my ribbon. And this is a little snowman bell here. This is where I use that tag die. And this is a sticker from one of my sticker packs. And it says, have a holly jolly Christmas. So pretty. There's that um, cottage cuts dolly that I just put in the back. And so with tool, it does stretches. So just pull that right off. Then I do have my dolly tacked down with a removable glue dot. But it stays there so it can continue to look pretty. And so this is what I have on the inside of my embellishment box. I have some of these charm bulbs some um, bling here these are some wood sleds then i have the clothes pin two santas <laughs> and these are some puffy um, candy cane stickers some jingle bells i have these little jars filled with diamond dots these little um, santa hats here i kind of got them going the opposite way but they have like a little pop dot on the back some red bows and then here, I have some little snowman charms with some red and green tassels. Oh, that is so pretty. <laughs> I love that. Now, this gingerbread um, is a sticker. So, I kept the little um, acetate on the back because it is a sticker. So, I put two of those in there. One has a red bow tie. The other one has a green. So pretty. <laughs> and so, I close it back. Now, once I ship this off, I'm going to put some 
um, the little bubble um, mailer inside and it keeps all the contents from floating around so let me put this back on again two just slides right back on you see so pretty <laughs> well you all this is what i have created for my friday um uh, friday <laughs> fun when you see why i'm a diva so again her link will be in the description box below head on over and see what she whipped up i know it's fabulous all right you all thank you sissy for having some friday fun with me i love you girl and i love you all thank you so much for stopping by until next time bye bye